Hi guys, in this YouTube video I will show you 22 things to do after installing Ubuntu 22.04. Here, after the installation you will have these messages. Nest, lo disable location, nest, done. The first thing is to enable the non free repository. Search software and updates you need to pick the blue icon you need to enable main universe restricted and multiverse in this way you will also enable the software that is non free after that close it will ask you to reload the page, click reload to refresh the software repositories. The second thing is to install proprietary drivers, click on additional drivers, here in software and updates it will go into this tab. For example, if you have NVIDIA, you have to install the proprietary NVIDIA driver and if you are using standard Ubuntu GNOME, NVIDIA will work on Wayland as well. The third thing is to install the media codex. You need to go into the terminal. Here, the terminal. Type sudo apt install Ubuntu restricted extra and Ubuntu restricted addons. Ubuntu Restricted Extra is already installed, so let's install only add-ons. And here you will have some video codecs that will enable the system to playback all of different audio and video types. The fourth thing will be to install Microsoft Fonts. In this way, if you use LibreOffice to work on documents created by Microsoft Office, you won't have compatibility troubles. As I was saying, install Microsoft Fonts, sudo apt install, ttf, msqoi fonts, installer, In this way, the Microsoft fonts will be added to the system here with the arrow keys. Select OK, press Enter, accept the ULA license. After that, you will be allowed to download the Microsoft fonts. Now we need to install Freeload. It is uh, this application that will move your most used application to RAM to make them load faster. sudo apt install reload now it is installed and it is good with time this application will learn the most used apps and will make them load faster now let's decrease swap usage to optimize RAM utilization. First go to the file cut proc sys vm swappiness. 
the level will be sixty. It is too high, so let's modify the file. etc is ctl.conf. At the end, we need to add to add vm dot swappiness equal ten. Now save the file, exit, reboot the system, and it will load the new optimized RAM user profile. Another thing is to set up the firewall, install the packages UFW and GUFW, enter, install. It is setting up the firewall. Now search inside the application, firewall, firewall configuration. Set up the profile to office. Enable it. Close. Now the firewall will work fine. Another thing, let's use a custom DNS to improve internet speed. We need to open the web browser to search for the right DNS settings. There are many providers, for example, in this video, I will show you the Quad9 DNS. Now search, I will put the link into the video description. This is the right page. Now go into network settings, wide settings. Click on the gear icon. IPv4, change the DNS from automatic to manual. Here, copy the IPv4 DNS. Comma, the second IPv4 DNS, now let's go to IPv6, let's copy the IPv6 address as well. Comma, Copy the other IPv6 address. Now apply. Let's do a quick connection test. Ping C three times our website. 0% package loss, it means that uh, the DNS servers are working fine. Now we need to check the startup application. Let's search for startup applications. We only have SSH key. And you may have other applications. If you don't need them, you should disable them in this way. The system will boot faster, antique, you can also remove or close. Now you need to enable dark mode and arts and colors if you want. With this new Ubuntu release, in the appearance tab there are many different changes. First there is a nice dark mode, it works well thanks to GNOME 42. And there are also the arts and colors. 
you can change the dock the dock size how to hide the position on the screen on the bottom on the right you can also auto hide the dock if you prefer now you need to go into display settings to enable fractional scaling it will be very useful if you have a laptop with a different screen size then also in display settings enable dark night light you can set up schedule or manual here it will change your display color temperature and it is a very useful feature now let's go to privacy settings you need to for example turn off location settings turn off file history clear the history you can also delete temporary files and here the settings for the screen lock blank screen automatic screen lock and here you can send error reports manual automatic or never another thing is to change the user image go to users pick the user and change the image now you can change the default application to open files for example i prefer to use vlc media player to music and video otherwise for a photo you could use a short well or the web browser for mail the we standard by to give in this way the the files will be opened by default by your favorite application here you can tweak firefox settings to improve your privacy let's go to firefox for example let's go to the settings here home general enable drm to play back netflix and amazon prime here use hardware acceleration when possible use dns while browsing search dr go is better for your privacy always do not work disable the cookies delete the cookies don't save login if you want you can block request for location camera microphone and other things disable data collection https everywhere now another thing let's go to firefox add-ons let's install uBlock origin it is a very good ad blocker for your web browser Add the uBlock origin. Now we need to click on the uBlock icon. Go into settings. Enable advanced user. Here you need to enable all the filters, then apply changes and update now. Here for example how to use the uBlock application, check the, the red boards then lock icon and reload the page, 
In this way, you will reload the page without the ads. Next step, let's install and enable Flatpak. Flatpak is a repository to install many applications. First, sudo apt install Flatpak. Install. Then you will need to add the Flatpak repository. with the sudo command enter now flatpak is installed you can install your favorite flatpak and other application for example sudo flatpak install many popular apps are this one net.pc ss2.pc ss2 Another one is for VLC, org.videolan.vlc, OpenShot Video Editor, my favorite video editor, org.openshot.openshot with capital O and capital S, the OBS Studio, com.obsproject.capital S Studio, and you can install many of your favorite flat packs. Now, how to install Wine HQ? Wine is a compatibility layer that will make you able to run your Windows software and games on Linux. This is the guide for Ubuntu. First, add the IV86 architecture. Then, download the repository key. Now, co move the key to the right location. Now, you need to set up the right repository. I am using Ubuntu 22.04, so I will pick uh, the repository right for me. Install. and move the repository to the right location, sys.list. Copy this command as well. Now you update to make the system recognize the repository. Now you need to select the branch, stable branch is good, development branch is only for developers, staging branch will give you the more upgrade packages, it is my favorite one. Install this one, install everything with all the dependencies. Now, here download WineTrix is a little application to better configure Wine. First, go to the download directory. Then, forget the WineTrix installer. Enter. It is saving the application the application after it finishes downloading 
CH mod plus heads e wine tweaks CH mod plus heads wine tweaks and then copy wine tweaks to use local bin to make it a system package now we can set up wine cfg in this way we will configure the wine application install everything it will install some libraries that you need to make the program work fine here you can change some settings to the wine configuration for example change graphics emulate a virtual desktop if you need it set up owner set up organization this is a reference to gta 5 if you have played the game you will understand and then enable everything from the staging branch because these ones are the development feature that will make wine work better now also wine tricks it is that application that we installed as well together with wine it's a GUI that uh, will help you configuring Wine with different settings for each game. Wait until it uh, downloads. Now Wine Tricks is installed. It is an application that will help you installing games or application by choosing the best one settings for that specific application. Would you like 12 point tricks development? You can select turn on or turn off. It will not report statistics, very good. Now we need to install Steam and MangoHard. MangoHard is an application that uh, will work similar to how MSI Afterburner works on Windows by showing you your game performance at the side of the screen. After you open Steam for the first time, it will download the various updates and it will ask you to log in to your existing Steam account. Now that after the update Steam has loaded, click Steam, go into settings, go down to Steam Play, enable Steam Play and enable Proton. Proton is this emulation layer that will make Windows 10 games work on Linux without troubles. Restart Steam and you will have this feature enabled. The, the last thing will be to install the fish shell. Sudo apt install fish. This is a shell with auto-completion that it is pretty popular. To enable this shell, run the command sudo cs sh-s slash user local bin fish and the name of your user. user bin fish and now after the logout you will go into the fish shell here 
here we can see from the form that this is the fish shell and this command has worked fine and here well the 22 things to do after installing ubuntu 22.04 see you later guys